beach, the Madaniat, Madaniat, I think it is. Yes, we're on the beach, the Madaniat Hotel. And this place is sick, it's right in the uh, shadow of the Burj Al Arab Hotel. It's raining! It's raining in Dubai. Touchdown in Dubai. It's a beautiful time here. The sun is out, but it is raining. But it's slightly overcast. Tonight, hey, busy any with the Bombay. Fuck it, I don't have a long day. All right, mate. Nice, yeah. Here we are. So we're going to the Burj Al Arab. In style. In style, yes. We're going there. Seatbelts. Do we have seatbelts? Money four ways. R. Kelly to a play with the four play. So this is the Valencia drink. It is sublime. What do you reckon? It is lush. Lush. Got vanilla syrup, Chambord, Saint Lucia rum, <laughs> and a bit of lime juice as well. Have that. This hotel is insane. <laughs> We're going up to the top floor of the Burj. It's happening. It's happening. But I've got to change my shorts. <laughs> And your shirt. And the shirt as well. No, no, the shirt's good, the shirt's good. <laughs> but yeah, we're going up to the top floor in this ridiculous Trump-like elevator. And I hope it's glamorous for yeah. me. Oh gosh, my ears are popping. Oh god, and mine. Ears are going. I'm going up. Let's get started. In the toilets now, at the Birch, in gold 37, 27. And I've got to be putting these on. Incredible this place. Burj Al Arab done. Yeah, baby. Got no jumper, but I ball a lot. Bitch on your stony, I do it all. Candy paint with the white on top. Lambo doors or the woo up top. If you busy plotting on what I got, kick in your door and swat you down. Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop. Half price my whip, same price my watch. Got no jumper, but I ball a lot. Bitch on your stony, I do it all. Didn't know that was your girl when she gave me top. Kicked out the road, said thanks a lot. God damn, I love paper like a Michael Scott. Yeah, I can do. So from up here, you can see the Dubai Mall, world. That's what it's called, Le Monde, and the top of the Burj Khalifa. Loving it, this view is spectacular. in the Dubai International Financial Center. It took me a while to check in, but yeah, so far so good. This is a uh, nice part of town. This is the area where it's quite similar to Canary Wharf, actually. This is the outside the window, if I can get the uh, blinds open. So we've got a nice little restaurant down there, a set of shops as well. Yeah, this is the bathroom. So we've got the, uh, the bathtub here, the open plan shower. Slightly open, but it's only me here, so it's all good. The lavatory, etc. in here. Thank you, sir. Yep, sure. Okay, put it on the you can just put it anywhere here. Yeah. Put it anywhere here, it's fine. Thanks very much. You're welcome, sir. Nice one, man. Big Ben. 
sort of like a bit of a UAE version of Big Ben. Not as good as the real thing, of course. Hello everyone, so yes, we are here in the Ritz-Carlton Dubai International Financial Center. It's really, really big. I was shocked at how many restaurants there are here. There's about four or five. They're all nicely sized as well, but just the grounds are just humongous. They've got this really cool thing called the Sunken Garden, and it's like a, it's it's sort of like, it's just like a bit of a garden just buried beneath the uh, main site of the hotel. So you go under the sort of main area, and then you're into this like sort of plush little seating lounge place where uh, you can have drinks and cocktails and food, and it's a really, really cool little spot. And a lot of the restaurants here are pretty nice and high-end in general. I am here because I'm doing a speech and hosting an awards ceremony for a fund management and insurance awards group. And and I'm really looking forward to it because I'm going to be talking about a lot about my industry, a lot about what I've been up to, what, I, what I'm currently doing, and um, my theme for the uh, for the speech for the overall chat is uh, how challenges and how um, the media has had to adapt to a changing environment. Really, so I think I hope it will resonate with the audience there. You know, so far in Dubai, we've had a really really good time. Been to the Burj Al Arab Hotel, which is just phenomenal absolutely amazing place that is like the world's most luxurious hotel they say it costs around 1700 pounds a night so i think it's around 5000 dirhams which is the local currency here per night so it is just unbelievable seven star hotel it's it's shaped like a sail so it's very unique very distinctive you have to get out to a, you have to get a separate bridge to go and get out to its island it's a really really good spot get a little golf cart out there as well do it in style when you pull up there's all these rolls royces and bentleys and bmws and all these swanky cars um and it is just an absolutely phenomenal old school sort of vibe of the place you go in there and the pillars and the, the aquarium as well that surrounds you is just phenomenal it really is a place to behold. You've got to go there if you can afford it, but I, you know, way out of my budget. No chance. There's no chance I can afford that. So um, yeah, we just went to a couple of bars there. We went to the Sky Bar at the top as well to have a view of the city. And we also went to the Burj Khalifa as well, world's tallest building. I think it's something like 800 and something meters high. I need to check that again, but it's nearly a kilometre high, basically. Nearly a kilometre high. As you're walking up to look at it, as you get to sort of near where the, where, the, where the building is, and you look up, you have to crane your neck so far back that you can't actually see, unless you properly angle your shoulder as well. So you have to angle your shoulder and crane your neck just to see the top of it if you're near. Unbelievable building, unbelievable. You go up there, your ears pop after about <laughs> 10 seconds because you're just going so high and fast up this, up this lift. And you get there and people are just like little dots. Cars, just like little Lego cars. Yeah, this place is just awe-inspiring and everything. Uh, the Dubai um, Burj Khalifa was pretty special because I'd always wanted to go there since I saw it being built quite a few years ago. Uh, and Mission Impossible being filmed there as well. It's got quite a, an X factor about it. And they really are proud of that building too. And I don't blame them. It's taken, I think, seven or eight years to make. Um, and you see the journey from ground up as you're going through the process of getting up into the lifts to go to the top of it. Um, and it is just, yeah, it's incredible. Feat of engineering to say the least. There is nothing like that in the world at the moment. Apparently I hear they're building an even bigger one here soon. So yeah, there's so much building work going on around here as well. But this hotel, the Ritz-Carlton, has got a really cool pool on the rooftop. Really good place to go and chill and hang out. Loads of um, kind of like good spots to go and get photos from as well. It's got a rooftop area. It's got a good gym as well and really nice spa. I'm going to go check out the spa here tomorrow actually, so that should be quite fun. Right, I'm going to uh, go downstairs, get sorted out for my speech now and my award ceremony hosting and then uh, I'll try and make sure I film a bit of that so you can get a look of you know what, what that's like. It's got quite a good little setup already, I've had a look and had a peek already. So it should be uh, pretty decent, over and out. So we're getting ready now to do the speech and we're going to do the awards this evening. <laughs> Cheers. Nidish. So Nidish is uh, helping tonight as well, running this uh, bash as well as the uh, fabulous events team here. Good luck. Yes, let's uh, smash it. So my suit here. I'm getting Michael to Conor McGregor tonight, so if I do walk into an Irish accent, don't be alarmed. It's fine. It's all good. Um, and so, yeah, this is my second time in Dubai. And um, the first time I came, the Burj Khalifa wasn't even built. It was 10 years ago. Uh, so the city has just completely transformed in the last 10 years. Um, the other day I went to the Burj Al Arab Hotel. What a place that is. Uh, some categories have been awarded a high commendation as well. Uh, so if you have been awarded a high commendation, would firms uh, please remain seated? My God, I look like a mess. 
So last night then, it was the last night of the awards do and um, I think it went pretty well actually. Um, everyone seemed to have a really good time. Yeah, it was really good. Everyone seemed to be in a good vibe and a good zone. The only problem was everyone sort of went out afterwards and I ended up going out as well and now I feel like death. My arm is starting to ache now, so I'm gonna get changed and then continue the next part of the Dubai trip. So don't you open up that window. Don't you let out the antidote. Sunday Do it all again on Monday Spit the check Yeah, we're in the spa now and we are the only people in here, which is fantastic. Um yeah, loving it. So I've got this wrap and full body massage and facial coming up. Facial, facial, easy to say. I look like some sort of Batman villain here. Two face. There we go. Gonna enjoy the uh, the luxuries of this place and hopefully feel chilled and zen like coming out. I just want the narrow. Who the front though? What's going on folks? Uh, chilling by the private pool at uh, the residence where I'm staying and it's uh, fantastic. This is where my cousin lives and uh, it's a very very nice community. At the moment I have the pool all to myself. I'm trying to make the most of it now. Oh my god it's pretty bright actually. Uh, last night we had another drinks another round of drinks and uh, well, round of drinks that's putting it politely it was a big night basically yeah sort of letting the hair down a little bit after the events that we've been covering and been doing today uh, we're going to see um, a show called La Pearl which is the equivalent of sort of Cirque du Soleil here it's incredible it's all uh, spectacular stuff with acrobatics and water based stuff and you know stunt performers I'm going to be checking that out reviewing it a bit and uh, seeing what uh, what's what with it really, so that's La Pearl. Insane. So I'll catch a few more rays and then um, be done. Thanks very much indeed for watching, I'm so tired, it's unreal. Oh, I must have been out for like 24 hours or something maybe. Oh, I can't even speak. Right, I'm gonna end it here. So thanks very much again for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.